All right, we're talking about unit vectors and the addition and subtraction of vectors. So I've got vector a here, which is 1 times ax plus 3 times az, and vector b, which is 5 times ax plus 2 times ay plus, or minus, excuse me, 6 times az. So the vector a, for example, this means we're going one unit in the x direction. ax is a unit vector that points in the x direction. So one unit in the x direction and three units in the z direction. Okay, so let's remember what that means is that the ax is a unit vector in the x direction, a z is a unit vector in the z direction, a y is a unit vector in the y direction. Okay, so with those two vectors, part a, we're, go we're going to find the norm or the length or the magnitude, all of those things being the same thing, of the sum of those two vectors. So when I sum two vectors together, I add them component-wise. So I have 1 in the x direction from A and 5 in the x direction from B. So when I add those two together, I get 6. 6 in the x direction. And then uh, A has 0 in the y direction and B has 2. So I have plus 2 in the y direction. And then I have a plus 3 and a minus 6, so that makes minus 3 in the z direction. All right, so that's the vector sum, a plus b. And then if I want the magnitude of that thing, I'm going to put the bars around there. And I need to use the Pythagorean theorem. So I'm going to take 6 squared plus 2 squared, I guess I'll put the parentheses, and then a minus 3 squared. Right, and take the square root. So the, the 6 squared gives me 36, and then 4 is 40, and then so that gives me 49. So the square root of that is nice, 7. Right, so that's the answer to part A. All right, B. So we're just asked to compute 5 times vector A minus vector B. And again, so, so when, when we take 5, when we take 5 times vector A, that's 5 times each component, and then we subtract it from the components of B. So 5 times 1 is 5, right, because there's a 1 there in the x directions. So, so we're just doing the x direction for right now. 5 times 1 in the x direction is 5, then minus B's x component, which is 5. So that gives us a 0 in the x direction. So I'm not even going to write it. Then we do in the y direction, we have 5 times 0. There's no component in the y there. And then minus, then, right, we're subtracting 2. So this is minus 2ay. And then for the z direction, I have 5 times 3 is 15, minus, right, because we're subtracting, a minus 6. So 15 minus minus 6, 15 minus minus 6 is 21, right? 15 plus 6 is 21. So I've got 21az. Right? And so that is the, uh, the final answer there. All right, so now let's go move on to C, the component of A along AY. So here's A, and I don't see AY, so what does that mean? Well, that means its component is zero. Nice, all right? If only everything could be that simple. And then uh, let's move to D. A unit vector parallel to 3a plus b. Okay, so let's first calculate 3a plus b. So I calculate 3a plus b. So let's do the x component first. So 3 times 1 is 3, plus 5 is 8. 8ax, right? So that's an x there. And then let's do the y component. So I've got 0 in the y here, and then plus 2 in the y there. So 2ay. And then I've got 3 times 3 in the z direction is 9, plus minus 6. So 9 minus 6 is 3. 3az. Three OK, so that's, that's the vector 3a plus b. Okay, but now I need to normalize it, or I, I need to ha make it have a length of 1, or a, 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 you know, a distance of 1. So I'm going to divide that by its length, or its magnitude. Magnitude is, is a good word. So length, magnitude, distance, I mean, these all mean the same thing. So, um, so I'm going to divide it by its own magnitude. So that would be 
the square root of 8 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared. Right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take I'm going to calculate the square root, right? And then I'm going to take 8 divided by that square root, and that's the component in the x direction. So when I do that, I get um, 0 0.912 in the x direction. And then I'm going to take 2 divided by the square root. And so when I do that, I get plus 0 0.228 in the y direction. And then the z direction, I'm going to take 3 divided by that square root. And when I do that, I get plus 0 0.342 in the z direction. Okay, so that's my answer. And I just want to say that, uh, you know, we're asked to find a unit vector parallel. So we could, you know, if this is our answer, we could have also gone this way instead. And so that's the reverse. And so another um, you know, reasonable or acceptable answer is the negative of this. So we could have also said this guy. I've got my arrow there. Okay, and that's that's perfectly fine. So there are, you know, if I give you this line and I ask you to find a line parallel, you know, well, there's this guy and then there's this guy.